hungry now! Need five caterpillars! Yeah, so what you do in spring will affect what you can do in summer. So if we hadn't if we hadn't hatched Eerie, he wouldn't have said that. And we would have to go back to spring and hatch him in order for him to do this. So here are the bees around this beehive. However, they're also just bees lying out in the summer so that we need to be aware of. That little swarm is if we get too close. But we gotta run past them to get yellow ginger. Nick! Hungry animals might eat caterpillars! They like to eat caterpillars! Same overall tune. Oh, hey, Robin Hood is uh, taking a beach vacation. And now he's dead. That's a shame. Yeah, there are these caterpillars that are just wandering around the summertime now, so we gotta go out of our way to pick those up for here. Yeah, hi! You look pretty strong. Can you move this boulder for me? There you go. Wow, what strength! Come inside and I'll give you a reward! Alright. Nope, that is way too steep, even for Talon Trot. Uh, we can't do that. And yeah, so we broke the boulder in summer, but if we go to spring, the boulder will be there, because spring takes place before summer. And now that the moat's dried up, I don't, I don't think I mentioned that. Yeah, the moat dried up because it's summer and it's hot, and the water evapora is evaporated because of how hot it is. Take out this guy, and then the uh, fall switch is really, really easy to find in summer. So we could go straight to fall if we wanted to, but nah. We're gonna explore summer. Believe it or not, the, while draining the moat helps us with Naughty and getting that switch, it's annoying because it makes it harder to traverse this world. We have to basically only go in a clockwise direction. Hi. So we should have grabbed these musical notes. So this is the annoying part. We can't take the bee in summer, so we have to use Wondering and Vulnerability to get this stuff from the fly traps in this world. So before we climb the tree, let's explore all around the base of the tree. Ow! You jerk. Peck your eyes out. Ouch! Grab that caterpillar. Thankfully, we only need five. Hey, Mumbo, can you turn me into a bee now? Too hot for magic. Mumbo wants suntan. Well, you're not going to get suntanned if you're inside your house. I don't know how if you know how this works, Mumbo, but... Oh, it e -gum -gum. I wonder how many mumbo tokens there are in the game. Like how many you can have at the end if you collect them all and have gotten all mumbo spells. I wonder if it goes up to 30. If so, that's a lot of extra mumbo tokens. And as far as I can tell, I think I've only missed one. And I think the one I missed was uh, the one on Bubble Boot Swamp that was behind Mumbo's skull. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Ouch. Okay, maybe we won't go that way around the tree. Oh no, we can. We have to do the double jump, though, not the high jump. Alright, let's definitely get our health refilled from these guys. Okay, so this is the other side of the river. Oh hey, it's Gobi! You guys remember Gobi? Oh no, it's you two again! Gobi thought he was safe here. All right, man, listen, listen. I really feel bad about what I did for you. I, I, I freed you in the desert. I'm really happy to do that. I smashed you to get some, to get you, to give some water to that poor tree. He needed it. And then I gave you a hug last time. And you, you know, we know how that worked out. 
I, I didn't mean for you to cough up your dinner, which is gross. But it helped me out because it increased my health. But I think I think maybe we just got off on the wrong foot, you know? Would you like to be my horse, maybe? That would be pretty cool. Alright, well, I mean... Gobi, are you okay? Are you the- wait, Gobi. Okay, Gobi, be, be honest with me right now. I know how the seasons work, and I know that in summertime, when the weather is hot and there's not a lot of rain, the water level in bodies of water tends to go down, because a lot of it evaporates. However, there's no way that whole lake evaporated all of its own. Now, be straight with me, Gobi. Did you drink all of the water in that lake? You did, didn't you? You know what, Gobi? That's selfish! <laughs> Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water! No, it didn't. You just drank up the lake. Stop lying. Fun fact, if you don't free Gobi in Gobi's Valley, or if you don't grow the plant, he will not appear here. Uh, that caterpillar? Oh no! I fell! Oh, blast! Uh, how much HP do that? I am missing a lot. Alright. Taking a gamble. Yeah! The problem is if I ever fall in this <laughs> in the creek that Gobi drank uh, again, then those bees will be out for their revenge. Ow! The hitboxes can be a little wonky. Or I'm just being bad. It's probably I'm just being bad. Good. Huh? Anyhow, now I think we can actually climb up the tree. Oh no. So I want to try something actually. Yeah. Oh, you can totally shoot these guys with eggs. Okay. No! <laughs> no! No! I landed in the drink. Oh no, those bees are gonna kill me. Okay, so you can actually shoot the birds with eggs. Oh, that's gonna help out in autumn so much. In autumn, there are so many birds that are hovering over pits like that. And the pits are big enough that, like, if you do the rat a tat rap on them, you probably are not going to make it across. And if you don't make it across, you will probably fall off the tree and instantly die. It's fun and fair. Not. But I already went to that fly trap. So now the leaves over here are bigger, so we can use them as plat- I think we could use them as platforms in spring, technically, but it's a whole lot harder and it doesn't lead anywhere. The shock jump is here. Take that, and give us our Jiggy. Yeah, there's no Jiggy on that branch in the springtime. Man, they, they are just giving me a lot of Uncle Turtles, aren't they? Oh no! Okay. I'm okay. We can make it through this. Holy cow, I do not want to die on this level. I actually don't think there's really anything else on the leaves. I think it's just an alternate way up the tree. Hi. Hi. I see you. You're looking great. I want to pick up some of these feathers. Just in case I need to walk on the Venus Light Rap to go! Oh, not in the purple field! <laughs> Grunty's like, this is my favorite level in the whole game. <laughs> oh man, I really need to work on my, uh, my platforming skills. And summer is one of the easier seasons, too. Each season just... Actually, no, I think autumn is uh, the peak of difficulty. I don't think winter is harder than autumn. 
All right, well, we've fallen a couple times, but we can get more health back from these. Thanks. Okay, back to the beehive, and now in summer, there's this little dip up on the top. And we can smash it open. The honey bear, he's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Stain him, Zabas! So you can run attack wrap these guys, but if things get out of hand, you might want to switch over to Wonder Wind. They're pretty relentless. Goodbye. Zarg, he's beaten us. Oh well, we were getting bored guarding it anyway. <laughs> oh well, he killed us, but we it's okay, our job was boring. Alright. Well, I feel good. <laughs> Even though we got stunned a lot. Oof. Another caterpillar. We've gotten more than we need. Oh yeah, so that's where the leaf platforms lead up. Sweet. And hey, wow, they, they did a lot of work on this treehouse in a short time. That's pretty cool. Anything behind? Holy cow, they did a lot. A plus on the camera, as always. No, I don't think there's any on the roof anyways. If we go in here, they haven't built the floor yet, but there is a jiggy in here. Whoosh! Alright, there we go. Wow, we've gotten a lot of jiggies just in the summertime. Ah, three. As opposed to the one we got in the spring. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. I should have just taken the fall. Oh man. Wow, your best note score for this world is pretty good, Banjo. No, it's 31. Alright, I'm I'm gonna cut back to that part. So forgive me. I'm gonna go in spring and get the stuff, and then yeah, I'll see you guys later. Alright, I have finally gotten back to I believe exactly the same place I was before. Minus the death. Alright. Stay away from that treehouse. Anyhow, oh, thank you, camera. You are really bad. The camera in this game is honestly pretty good most of the time, but every once in a while it'll just completely change the camera angle for no reason without any warning. And it tends to happen a lot when you're wandering on a very dangerous path. Which is not okay. <laughs> Anyhow, let's check out Nabnut's house in this season. That's eaten too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you gorge yourself. You're also now really fat, so you might have to work off a few pounds. Alright. Yeah, like, the camera like would not let me turn it. Whoa, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. Thanks, bottles. Grab that caterpillar. I think that there are maybe ten you can find in a season. Yeah, okay. This is where the birds come into play. Another thing you can do is you can try to jump around more, but on these platforms that doesn't really work out. 
just pick them off from, from afar. My, my old strategy before I knew you could do that is I would have to do a jump and then instead of the double jump I'd have to do the rat attack rap and I hope that got me across and defeated the bird. Hey, Eerie. Yummy! Juicy caterpillar! Nice! Very uh, full now! Needs more sleep! This, this, this guy is weird. Right. Bye, Yuri. This part makes me nervous. Really we're nervous that when I do the high jump, it'll send me off a cliff. Because you gotta be kind of standing still when you do the high jump, but then once you start jumping in the air, you gotta move the stick and you move slightly when you're in the air. I don't think there's anything else up here that wasn't here in spring. I think this room stays pretty much. Oh, nope, oh, I see that. There's one up up here. I'm all full up on lives, though. Alright, I think that'll do it for summer. I want to make sure I don't jump off a cliff and... Well, you know, it doesn't really matter where I jump off the cliff. As long as I do it like this! Okay. Um, let's try to take the shortcut back. And then we can go to fall, which is the... I'd say the most dangerous season. I believe I got everything I needed to in the summer, so... Maybe there are only eight caterpillars in the summer. I thought there were ten. Alright. Remember those annoying dragonflies from Bubble Goop Swamp? They're back! <laughs> Better get eerie more caterpillars! Need ten this time! Well, there's one right behind you. I saw that. Robin is back from his beach vacation. He's still dead. And now in fall, there are all these piles of leaves. No more stuff to explore. Fall, for the most part, it look, it's very pretty. I do love the colors of fall. It's just the birds are on high aggressive mode. And imagine if we didn't have double gold feathers, which I did it for my first several playthroughs of this game. Makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah, see how fast that bird popped out? Like, holy cow. She makes killing them a lot more difficult when we do like that. That caterpillar. Water's back. Because apparently we've gotten enough rain to fill up what Gobi took. And now that the water level's full and the boulder is gone, we can actually go into Naughty's house now. Oh, here you are at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Thanks, Naughty. Thanks for keeping it safe for me. Also, it's nice to see you outside of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, most of the notes on this level are in autumn, because there are notes just kind of scattered all over the place. Nice bed, man! This is a lovely house you have. Apparently there is a way to visit his house in the spring. I think if you do a ground pound from an incredibly high height and know exactly where the boulder is, you'll, like, go so far underwater that you'll touch the boulder with the ground pound and it'll destroy the boulder. 
But I don't think there's anything actually in this house. These fly traps of the meadow seem are the worst. I don't got any gold. Oh hey, Gobi, you're still here. Alright, Gobi. I think I think we're even now, man. I hope I've uh, I hope you've learned the lessons of not hoarding water and being greedy. Alright? I really hope that. I really hope you've learned the lesson this time. Anyhow, come on man, let's let's have a heart to heart. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. It's rude. It's rude to shun people, Gobi. It's rude to shun people. I feel bad doing it the last time, but I need to grow that plant. Because there's a jiggy on top of it. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. True, because this game doesn't have a lava world. And poor Gobi, he gets tied up in his own desert. Oh yeah, bunch of out there. Gobi gets tied up in his own desert. We free him. Then we smash his stomach to make him give water to the tree. Then we smash his stomach again to get a hollow honey from his. Then we smash his stomach again to give this plant water. And then we smash it again. <laughs> his stomach gets smashed four times. Those birds are everywhere, too. I don't think there's anything. Nope. Alright. We also have to find a way to get that jiggy on top of the plant. It's to rock wood, and it's got the soon it's time. Catapult. Oh yes, I would love another gold fairy, please. Yeah, like, look, I did not touch the camera at that time. It did that all on its own. There you go, die! Come on! I don't need no weighted step boots. Hey Mambo, what you doing?